So today we're going into the Mojave National Preserve. There's some stuff to see in here, and we're gonna see it. So we're headed toward them hills. First thing we're gonna see is volcano related, so it's gotta be in them hills, which also must be volcano related. So we've gotten out of the desert. There's a flat desert, we're still in the desert. And we're up into some lava flows, some old lava flows. These are getting covered up and buried in sand. And there's some deeper ones there. So we're about four miles from where we're first stopped here. I just want to show this lava flow. It's not very big, but it's thick. It's kind of small. It must have come out of that cinder cone right there. Just the surrounding area. So we're on a road called Aiken Mine Road that we turned up. It's a really bumpy, washboardy road. I don't know if you can see the washboards in the road there, but they're pretty bad. We've come all the way up through there. That's a volcano cinder cone. That's a volcano cinder cone. There's a couple more and another one. So we, we got volcano cinder cones like all around. And we're going to keep going down this Aiken Mine Road. Just want to get a shot of this Joshua tree, which is not an actual tree. It's a, more of a bush, but they're kind of neat. This is a nice looking one. We're still headed up the road. There's some cinder cones. Got to be careful walking around out here in the desert. This is truly, truly in the desert now. Because there's stuff like this thing here. It's hard to tell what comes out of that. That could be a snake. I don't know. Look at that. There's a big hole over there. Anyway, we do gotta watch for snakes and things out here. So we just turned off on a smaller road than the small road we were on. But we're headed for this lava flow right over here. Looks like it's a more recent one. Look at all them cinder cones in a row. Boom, boom, boom. Cinder cones all in a row. Down there, there's the truck. Walking up this old, old rough walking lava road. I didn't want to bring the truck up in here, so I'm going to walk this last bit. This red robber rock, this thing's big. This thing's real big. It's got chunks of other kind of rock in it. They got chunked out from up there. Pretty rough looking lava field. I think the trail I want goes up this way. If I did my research right. Yeah, there's no signs here in the Mojave. They don't put signs on anything. The rangers will tell you that it's it's all natural. They want it natural. They don't want signs. So you gotta like just find your way around with maps. And I was measuring the mileage like up this road to this place, so I'd know about where it was. So I'm walking along, and there's this big hole. Well, I walked down that ledge right there, climbed down there, and then my water bottle fell out of my pocket, and it took a couple seconds to hit bottom, so I thought, uh-oh, we're going to be down here tonight that hole here shortly. Here's a hole they tried to shore up, but it collapsed. Another one here that collapsed. But there's a big hole right over here, which is what we're here to see. echoing already yeah look at this 
It's a lava tube. I know I can't go very far here because that's some holes we just saw. Right there, see that rubble that come out of the hole we just saw. But you can go the other direction. This is the cool part coming up. That hole down the hill we saw, you can get to it. I think it's getting dark in here now. Maybe I should have brought a flashlight. So there's the way we came in. And here's where I stopped a while ago. But I need to get my water bottle. So I came in here and I was kind of crouching down. And I seen a little bit of light. Something like crawling. I can stand and there's light okay there's my water bottle See my dust. There's those two holes. So when I, I was standing on that ledge, but you couldn't see nothing but black. My water fell out of my pot. Oh, and it opened up and went everywhere. Oh well. Yeah, it's empty. I guess I'll take the trash back. Well, there's one thing I got to do. I started up. It's a pretty cool place. Oh, it looks like it I see more light back here. It goes even further. There's a tiny little hole there. I didn't see that above. I'll have to go back up and look for it. And there's another little hole up here. really slow. Let me get my lighter out. Oh, it's in my hand. Damn, it does go on. It does go on for a little ways. It's really cramped and rocky. I'm not going in there. This is the cool part, though. See where the lava dripped when it dried. Right there, I see it. Okay, 
Here's my water bottle. Got a little bit of water there, but I think I think I make it salt dirty. Just gotta find my way back out of here. It's a little easier to see from this direction. I couldn't see it the other direction. Back to crawling again. The ceiling's only about two and a half feet high right here. Now it's getting higher. I'm still stooping, which is hard on my back. Okay, I'm standing. Now let's get up out of here and down the road. The next thing on the list is Kelso Depot. So that'll be the next part or the next video. Oh, it's a steep climb up out of this lava tube. See, this is all cave-in from this hole where you wouldn't be able to get down here. <coughs> and also the fact they put that ladder in. That's a big help. <coughs> I want to go up here and find them other tiny little holes. And then you can kind of see how far above ground that we went underground. Oh. At least it's downhill. So there's that hole. And we'll walk down here. This is where I dropped my water bottle. It's over there. It's that far. That's how far we crawled in the dark underground. I say we because I brought you with me. YouTube. Here's the big hole with the two, two skylights. Now where's the smaller holes? small one down here somewhere else. I'm not going to wait in where the snakes are. So uh, I'm going to shut you off now. The truck's way down there. And we'll catch up with you at Kelso Depot. There's a rabbit right there in that bush. Right there in that bush. Am I in park? Put me in park. There he goes. Them jackrabbits are fast. So all the volcanic stuff was back that way. Now we're moving this way into the south. That was the southwestern part of the Mojave. Now we're moving into the southeastern part of the Mojave. But we just stopped to get a Coke out of the back of the truck here. And my wife spotted a mine right over here. I spotted it. I'll show you this. Anyway, there's a mine. Somebody would crawl in there and dig. Not safe. 